Hello everyone, and welcome to Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Let's not bother watching the demo, because I don't care. No, we're not going to watch the demo. So anyway, yeah, since this was a thing that I pretty much promised I would do like three months ago, but I never did, we're going to do this now. And I have a co-guest commentator thingy by the name of Matthew. You might know him from our from my little co-op channel by the name of Cuzcraft. Can I please get up this hill and not die? But anyway, so yeah, Sonic 2, since, you know, Sonic is supposed to be my, my nostalgic series, I have to do an introduction first. Okay, thanks. Bye, Matthew. Um, anyway, since Sonic is supposed to be my nostalgic series, I'll just go right ahead now and say that this game is the most nostalgic of the three or four or whatever Genesis titles that you want to consider a thing and I can't even like remember what I was talking about. But yeah, basically I played this game a lot more than Sonic 1 and Sonic 3 and Knuckles and I want to go in that thing. This is the special stage. And I haven't even talked about the normal game. We're already in a special stage. So that's pretty awesome. But yeah, special stage, because there's Chaos Emeralds in this game as well. And unlike the first game, where it's just like, yeah, collect all the Chaos Emeralds and you get flowers, because apparently flowers are a good reward in a game. No. This game actually has an actual reward for getting all the Chaos Emeralds, so... The only problem with that is that there is no way in heck I'm getting all the Chaos Emeralds in this game, because I suck at these bonus stages. And if I can please... I'm act Well, I mean, the first one's really easy, so I'm not surprised I'm doing good at this. But yeah, um... Anyway, while I'm talking about this, let's talk about this game in general. So... A year after the success of Sonic the Hedgehog, they decided, you know what, let's make a sequel, because, you know, we can't... It's like, anything that makes money, we have to milk it for as much money as possible. So, they made a sequel. And they have a new character, and by the name of Tails, who you might know as the person following me. And in this, day, in this game, Tails is pretty much entirely... He's pretty much useless. I mean, he's well useless in the sense of, like, he's exactly the same as Sonic in every single way. So, it's like, not even... You can play as Tails, but... Okay, I just went through the wall. That's pretty cool. But you can play as Tails, but he basically controls the exact same as Sonic, so it's pretty much pointless to do that. We all know that Tails is a fox. If you didn't know that, by the way, then you're really dumb. So yeah, that's the first level of the game and the thing. This game, I like I literally just got through recording Super Meat Boy, and it's probably the best recording session of Super Meat Boy I've ever done. So that should be a pretty interesting treat for you guys, even though I'll be uploading this one first, so if you want to understand why the heck me and my, me and Matthew are, like, talking all weird, then you need to go watch Super Meat Boy, which I'll be uploading probably the day after this video is uploaded. So, there's that. Anyway, let's talk about the level structure in this game. Now, this game does have zones, very similar to, um, uh, Sonic 1, and hold on, I'm going to lower the volume, because it's kind of loud, and my, what do you get, because I'm not recording Minecraft, that's why I'm not playing Minecraft, I'm not doing a Minecraft Let's Play on my channel ever just to answer your guys' questions, because I will upload Minecraft on the Cuzcraft channel, but not on my Pokemon Lunar channel, because once you start uploading Minecraft, no one, like, they don't stop bugging you to upload more. 
So anyway, yes, but I don't feel like playing it forever. But anyway, this is the second special stage. So we're gonna do this, and we're gonna, like, fail. Because that's what we do on this channel, we fail all the time. Alright. So now I lowered the game volume, so if I was a little if I was a bit hard to hear in the first few minutes, I won't be now. So basically, as you can see, those little like bomb black circle things essentially make you lose ten rings if you touch them. So Try to avoid them at all costs. But yeah, these special stages, very difficult. Oh yeah, I was talking about the zone structure. So, in this game, the levels are divided into zones, just like in Sonic 1. But, unlike Sonic um, 1, there's only two acts to each zone. Unlike, so basically... However, to counteract that, there are more zones in this game. There are 11 zones in this game, to be exact. As opposed to the 7 that are in Sonic 1. And I don't even know what he's talking about, but it's distracting me. Then good for you. It's not... Well, you're being an annoying Pokémon this time. I don't even know when you became a Pokemon, but apparently you're, you're now a Pokemon, so... That's pretty... Yeah, whatever. Anyway, so... Also, I forgot to mention, in this game they introduced a little thing called the Spin Dash. So if you hold down and press the Action button, you will turn into a little spinny ball of super speed, and then you'll be able to shoot yourself up cliffs. Meaning, it's very convenient. And as you can see, Dr. Robotnik is back, and he's better than ever, with a spinny drill car death that's really easy to kill, because he's like, he sucks at everything. But anyway, after seven hits, he shoots the drill at you, but you're just like, yeah, that kind of sucks, and then you kill him. And then he flies off all mad. And like, you're, you mad, bro? You mad, bro? So now... Emerald Hill's done. That was really easy. Woo. Let's go to the next level. As we sit here, looking up in the sky repeatedly. Look up in the sky with me, Tails. Chemical Plant Zone. Yay. Zone 2. Now, a little thing I want to mention about this game is that this game gets a lot harder than Sonic 1 a lot faster. The, like, Emerald Hill's really easy, just like Green Hill's really easy in Sonic 1. But, Marble Zone is not nearly as difficult as Chemical Plant. You'll see why soon. But, yeah, it's pretty obvious. Okay. Weird noises coming from outside. No idea what that was, but whatever. Yeah. Is my door open, Matthew? Is my door open? Go close it. So yeah, um... On top of this level being, like, a gigantic maze, essentially... Um... Yeah, and we pretty much just went through that entire level without seeing any checkpoints, which is not good, because I kind of want to get as many Chaos Emeralds as possible. Even though I know I'm not going to get all of them, but... I'd like if I could get, like, at least five. My goal in this series is to get five of the Chaos Emeralds. Because there are now seven Chaos Emeralds, by the way. Doesn't ever explain where this mysteri like mysterious seventh Chaos Emerald came from, but now there's... I don't know why there has to be seven. But they felt like six wasn't enough in Sonic 1, so they added another one. 
Which isn't even good, because the special stages in this game are so freaking annoying. Because I barely beat the last one, and that was only the second one. Alrighty then. Got some stuff out of the way. I know where there are... I know where there are two 